Hi friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selectors Hub and Crowbar. In this tutorial, I will try to explain and give the solution for those kind of situations where we all face a lot of challenges and very frequently, I believe. And it, it become like really challenging in those kind of situations where we don't have the DOM available, like invi invisible drop down. So like when we hover on some elements and we try to like inspect those elements and if it is not like if it is available in the DOM, then it's fine. Okay, we can write the selector for this kind of, kinds of element. But the situation where we ins try to inspect any element, let's say we want to inspect this mobile accessories, we click on inspect, but that is not available in the DOM and we cannot inspect like this way as well in Chrome. So this is really challenging, though in Firefox we can inspect the drop downs elements as well which are available in the DOM but like we can't do it on Chrome. Yes there are ways that we can go to network, stop the call and all we can do that but is there anything straightforward to solve this problem. So yes there is something now really innovative which can solve your problem and help you a lot which will say uh, I mean basically which will solve your pain points and save a huge amount of time. Let me show you how. It's very simple. I'm sure you have the selector sub already installed. If not, then you can quickly go and install for whichever browser. So this will be applicable, whatever I'm showing you guys. It is uh, available. This solution is available on all the browsers. It will work Chrome, Firefox, Edge and Opera. So whichever browser you want, you can just simply one click installation is there. So if you have an install selector sub, click on add Chrome, then it will appear here. If it is not visible here, click on this, like by this, it will be hidden like this and you can install simply. So now suppose for uh, for this drop down value, like change log community partner, giant community contact. So <laughs> for this uh, options, if we have to write the selector for any of these elements, what we will do, like we will right click, inspect this element, but then it got disappeared, right? So it is tough to understand and write those kind of situations. How can we uh, like optimize this thing to get the selector for these elements? Simply, you need not to do anything. If you are good in writing selectors, what you can do is smartly, you just right click on this and copy relative XPath, absolute XPath. And in fact, like this uh, many option is customizable. So like you can customize from here, whatever type of relative XPath relative CSS, JS path, whatever you want, you can just check them. So we have customized that. Now we want, let's say for community partner. So you just go here, click on selectors, uh, move your mouse to selector sub and then click any of these. Let's say copy relative XPath, we copied this one. Here you can open selector sub and you can verify the XPath which we have copied. You see that we have copied for community partner. Now if you hover on this, you that will be highlighted over here. So simply we have got this relative XPath or any of this selector whichever you want like you want to join the selector sub community you just right click copy relative XPath, absolute XPath, JS path, anything you can copy and paste it here you can see that yes it we got it so simple it is now similarly like uh, for any other element let's say for here on a test project website if you want to copy anything like mobile test recorder so you just move your mouse over copy relative XPath simply you can paste it over here and there you see mobile test recorder if you press enter you will see that that element will be highlighted so this is so simple so because these are the elements you must be thinking okay so these are the elements is available in the DOM so we can inspect and write yes and in fact like if you want to write your own you can quickly inspect and write it start writing here so this is easy but where the challenge comes this is easy we have built it okay the challenge comes and it becomes really complicated when we are not able to inspect the elements drop down elements and the one which are not available in the dom let's say for an example we copied this uh, mobile accessories okay but on inspecting as soon as you mouse move your mouse here and there that element is got disappeared from the dom it's not available so what you can do either you go on uh, network tab stop some calls so that will be up uh, means available here but then again it will be hard to write those selectors for those kind of in that situation why don't we have something simple really simple and copy anything from here just right click copy copy relative xpath absolute xpath css selector anything let's say we have for mobile accessories we copied relative xpath and that's 
direct there you can go and paste it here so we got the mobile accessories here so simple it is like for any other app, washing machine we want you just right click copy copy relative x path you can paste it over here see you got from washing machine so this is really helpful really amazing any website if there are drop downs you are not able to write the selectors for them you just simply go and copy anything from here and you can see that you are we are able to like uh, <coughs> for any element from here you can just right click and copy whatever x path selectors you want you can copy from here and simple as simple as that any straightforward you can build your own x path as well and if you want to get like for uh, all types of selectors you want to see you just uh, turn on the generator mode over here and you will get everything for the inspected element so this is really helpful and it will save a huge amount of time if you have any question anything anytime feel free to check out these uh, footer links over here all the contacts like you can join me on slack selector sub slack channel and uh, if you have any question feel free to ask you can learn more about here don't forget to check out our primary sponsor test project from here is a amazing solution for mobile web and api automation and this is absolutely free community product if you want to support selector sub do support test project because they are the people who are sponsoring and supporting selector sub to run it for free for everyone and uh, huge thanks to whole community selector sub community those who are supporting sponsoring and uh, contributing in selector sub to make it perfect and available free for everyone and up and running always and you can reach out to me anytime over slack or anywhere and if you like this solution please do share with everyone with that thank you thank you so much